On this short cast, we're turning the spotlight on a UTA basketball player whose journey on and off the court led him to victory. And we'll show you how UTA Volunteers is raising awareness for homelessness in an unconventional way. Also, see how student designers' passion for fashion is helping public relation majors expand their networks. Your short cast begins now. I'm Brianna Bolton. Welcome to the Shorthorn Shortcast. Anthony Pone is a full-time student, veteran, owner of his own record label, and basketball star. Many would say his life is a testament of hard work and self-motivation. But the struggle to get to where he is now is what keeps him motivated. Here's your Shortcast Spotlight on UTA senior Anthony Pone. UTA criminal justice senior Anthony Pone's life is far from ordinary. A day in my life, um, I wake up in the morning around seven o'clock, go to, go to the gym, shoot around a little bit, go to class. Um, after that, I'm going straight to practice. I'm a couple minutes late for practice because my class ends late. And then after that, I go on home, studying. And at night, this is what I do, I'm in the studio. The basketball player is also the CEO and manager of Home Team Entertainment, a record label he started with his best friend Sonny from Philadelphia. But success didn't come easy for him. His life was filled with many obstacles. It was raining that night. The car was going 98 miles an hour. I wasn't driving, I was in the pasture. So. And the car hydroplane and went into a pole. The pole broke in half and then it crushed through the car. Um, it took them three hours to get me out of the car, and when they did, they said I went to complete shock. After a car crash in 2002, he spent five months in the hospital. During the third month, doctors began to slowly take him out of a sedated coma. When he woke up, he noticed his right leg was missing. I looked down and, and I saw bandages instead of my leg, and I went back to sleep. It was something to think about, and I woke up and I said, okay, what am I going to do next? And I wasn't really thinking about playing sports again. But his love for basketball drove him to move from Philadelphia to Texas in 2008, so he could play for UTA's Moving Mavs. He says his plans to play basketball after his accident and his love for his children were what inspired him. I didn't want to see them look at me as somebody who gave up. You know, like no matter what the obstacle or whatever things that you got going on, you got to pretty much pull it together because at the end of the day, if you don't make it, it's, only, it's all your fault, you know. You can't blame anybody for an opportunity that was given to you. My motto, keep working hard, keep working hard. On Friday night, UT volunteers brought awareness to homelessness through its event, One Night Without a Home. Students slept outside of Central Library Mall from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. to experience what it's like to be homeless. They built houses made of cardboard and wore signs with messages from real-life stories of people living in the Arlington Life Shelter. Speakers from the shelter and students shared their personal experiences with one another. One student says he wouldn't want to be anywhere else for his 20th birthday. Homeless, homelessness is very important to me. I was on the verge of homelessness. Me and my family were. Um, I grew up in a not so well environment. We were down on money. Like I said in my, um, when I talked in front of everybody, we, I would walk with my father to go donate plasma for money. And that's how, that just sums up how, about how bad it was. And um, just to have this chance to come out here and see what it's like if things could have gotten worse is I would give anything to be, be here right now. For more information on UTA volunteers, go online at the link below. UTA's Public Relations Student Society of America had their second annual fashion show at Blackfin on Friday night. The show included several hand-sewn pieces from UTA fashion designers. PRSSA President Katie Kiger says the purpose of the fashion show 
was to raise money for members to go to the PRSSA National Assembly next spring. A thousand dollars is a lot of money and the experience of going to national events is something unparalleled for public relations majors. Uh, beginning to you know start your network through the entire nation when you're a college student is a really big plus. Plus you're going to learn so much information that's going to help you further your career. It's just you know something that we really encourage members to do and this is really giving us uh, an opportunity to send them. The organization raised more than $400 from the fashion show. Be sure to check out the shortcast next Monday for more stories on what's happening on your campus and beyond. I'm Brianna Bolton. Thanks for watching the shortcast.